What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy Chaos here, and I'm bringing you another installment of the Best Team series. I had a blast creating the teams in the main series games, as well as the side games of Pokemon, so I decided to try out fan-made Pokemon games. And there's no better one for me to start with than the one I've played the most of, which is Pokemon Insurgents. So kick back and relax as we take a look at the best team for Pokemon Insurgents. I want to start by saying I know this is going to be a long video. Insurgents is a complicated game and I felt like it was important for me to include specific strategies for taking on the gym leaders and the Elite Four members. The rivals and the evil team, well, cults in the case of Pokemon Insurgents, are pretty simple and straightforward. So I felt like I would leave out an explanation on those battles because if I talked about how to beat each individual battle in this game, we would be here all day. So. I thought I would spare us the time. It should be noted that I built this team for the normal game and difficulty setting. I felt like this is a good middle ground for analyzing the game, and that's why I chose to build the team on that. Unlike most Pokemon games, we don't have to worry about HMs, since there are items or moves that take care of the HM moves in the game, so we really don't have to worry about that in including those on the move set. We will also be able to use the move tutors since they are scattered throughout the game and are relatively affordable for us as we go through. The best team is a team created that it deals with every major challenge in a Pokemon game, including the rivals, the gym leaders, and evil team admins in Elite Four. To build the best team, we have to choose the best starter Pokemon for the game. Insurgents offers us three regional variants of the Kanto starters known as the Delta Species Pokemon. We also get an option of Eevee from the Professor as well. Delta Venusaur is a Psychic Fairy type, Delta Charizard is a Ghost Dragon type, and Delta Blastoise is a Dark Fighting type. Initially, I ruled out Eevee since it is rather frail and it forces you to take up your only Mega Slot to make it viable. From here, I decided to go with Blastoise since it only has issues with two of the gems and is basically solid or good or even great in the other places in the game. The only fights that are bad in are versus the Flying type specialists that you have to fight which isn't too bad in general. Blastoise is also the best option to deal with the dark type gem since Venusaur's psychic typing holds it back against dark types. Blastoise should have Dark Pulse, Aura Spear, Nasty Plot, and Shadow Sneak as its final moveset. These are all level up moves learned at level 28, 32, 39, and 53 respectively. Note that this game levels beyond level 100, so it's about 10 levels per gem, meaning Level 50 is not too far into the game, so you're not really going to be struggling without having Nasty Plot for that long, and honestly, you don't need it until later in the game anyway, so it's not really that beneficial to worry about it. Normally at this point, I would discuss what kind of gyms or what evil team battles this Pokemon does well with, however, since I already explained that I wanted to talk about solid strategy since Insurgents basically demands it, I will be covering all of the uses for each Pokemon in each important battle once we have the team established. So don't worry about that until once we get the team completely built. Our next team member is found in Midna Mine where you catch Drillbird. This is a powerful option to help you out during the beginning and the end of the playthrough. Next to Drill's final moveset should be Earthquake, Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Stealth Rock. Rock Slide and Earthquake are level up moves learned at level 28 and 44 respectively. Iron Head is a tutor move found in Kepler City, and Stealth Rocks is a tutor move found in Selene City. Our next team member is Tentacruel, which can be found on Route 3 once you get the inflatable Lapras or the new Surf item in the game after defeating Orion. The final move set should be Sludge Wave, Surf, or Scald, a Rock Custom move, and Toxic Spikes. Sludge Wave and Toxic Spikes are level up moves learned at level 48 and 13 respectively. Surf can be found in Kepler City, Skull can be found in Semisara Cave, and you can buy the custom move in the black market. Just make sure you give it a creative name and make sure it's a rock type move. Up next for the team is Charizard, which can be found in the Hidden Grotto on Route 3. Make sure you save before you enter the grotto so you can reset if you don't get Charmander initially. For the record, I'm not including Charizard because it is my favorite Pokemon, it just has the best coverage of a fire type early on in the game, as well as access to Mega Evolutions, although I never use them in the playthrough. Give Charizard Flamethrower, Air Slash, Dragon Pulse, and Wildfire. 
Flamethrower is learned at level 47. Air Slash can be learned by making a move relearner in your secret base. Make sure you get that on your run through. Dragon Pulse can be found in Sonata Hills, and Wildfire can be picked up in the Dragon Ruins. Wildfire is an exclusive move to Pokemon Insurgents, and basically what it does, it is Will-O-Wisp, but it burns grass types, and that also burns any other Pokemon that are weak to fire in your team. So, very good move for uh, utility here. We get another Delta Pokemon to add to the team, and our only other Delta Pokemon, by using the static Delta Ralts on Route 4 and then evolving it into Gardevoir. This is an electric ice type. Delta Gardevoir should have Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. Everything but Shadow Ball is a level up move learned at level 33, 40, and 53 respectively. Shadow Ball can be found later in the game at Orono's Town. To round out the team, we pick up a Floet on Route 5, which will eventually evolve into Florges. It should have Moonblast, Energy Ball, Toxic, and Calm Mind as its moveset. You're going to have to wait until level 46 to evolve Floet since you need to get Moonblast and since it's a stone evolution, it doesn't learn anything after it evolves. So make sure you take the time to level this thing up to 46 before you go. Trust me, it's very much worth it and it'll be a great addition to your team. The rest of the moves are TMs. Energy Ball is found on Route 9, Toxic is found in the Void Gauntlet, and Calm Mind is received after you beat Calreath. And now that we have a full team, we can go over what each member does. As I mentioned, the Rivals and the Colts are pretty much straightforward. The Colts build around a single typing for the most part, and the Rivals have a diverse team. But you have several options to deal with them, and they don't really offer an insane strategy that you have to counter. So you pretty much just can take care of them. Just be careful about their legendaries. For the gym leaders in the Elite Four though, I have saved clips of my playthrough we did on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash chaos6. So I will be including those here as a strategy guide to help you out. It's stalling out the- it's really just playing around the sun. That's all you have to do with Orion. That's- that's the only reason he is difficult. Because we play around the sun, we get rid of the sun, the Venusaur comes in, the Ivasaur- as long as we can get the Ivasaur in with no sun, we're fine. So we one-shot the Vulpix. So that's turn one. Turn two takes it out. Turn three is Deerling. You can stall out a potion or two. Also, the reason I have leftovers on this uh, Drillbur is because it helps out so much here. So I might have to, I think what I'm going to do for this best team is I'm going to list the team out and then I'm going to go through the situations. Uh, because each gym is going to have a different strategy. So, um, Vacuum Wave. The thing is we just don't need crits. That's the only thing. Here's a soul, Double Kick. That's not what I wanted to see. I'd rather use Solar Beam. Double Kick is fine though. We take that. But this is the only thing I need Mika for. So that's turn 3. This is turn 4. I needed to take you out there. Also, that wouldn't have been bad if you died. So I'm only just strong. This is turn five. No potion. Sunlight's gone. Charmeleon's back. No. All right, let's let's play this smart. So we 1v1 the Charmeleon right now. We'll see what you want to do. Sunny day. Alright, cool. We have to stall five turns. No problem. Honestly, no problem. Um, we're slower, so I gotta vacuum me. It's doing a lot. Flame Burst is not gonna kill. We're on 2 HP. That was turn 2. He's taking some damage. Uh, we're not gonna live even with the super potion. So that's turn two, turn three is here. I gotta think. That's turn two. Sun. So this is turn three right here. I die if I die, because I'm probably I die turn three. Turn four switch it switches in, use dig one, and then I take it out. So I have to rely on Yeah, that's how you play. What, what might, I need you to do enough damage that he uses a potion. 
That's not enough. All right, cool. That, it might be actually. It's re it's on the it's on the verge. No, he will use a potion because of because of solar power. He has to use a potion. So he potions here. I get a, a free dig off. And then the sun's gone at the next turn. Boom. All you have to do is play around it, dude. You have to play around the sun. Sunlight, less, this is the last turn. He's hurt by the sun. Puts him in range. He's going to go first. And there's the Venusaur. There's the Ivysaur coming out. That actually works well. That's fine. Because we get a free hit off of you. Sunlight's gone. You have Black Sludge, which is not good. I need to set up. You need to not have Sunny Day. I don't think you get Sunny Day. Lychee, that sucks. Um, that little it has to work though. So I'm plus one, um, plus one. Uh, I think I just got a slash. Critical hit, not enough. That's one turn. That's fine. Right, Ivy Swords down. Twenty seven. My HP is back. Tremulian comes in. And then and he's on one, so I just have to hit him. Well, honestly, I just have to hit him. Flame burst. We live that. Good chunk, and that's a GG. I'm gonna mark this because I'm gonna need that later. For directions, but yeah, as I said, you just have to play around the sun. We got rid of the sun when the Venus. Honestly, the switch into the Ivysaur was bad for you. Speed so timed the solar beams up with my digs. That was fine. Unfortunately, I do not have the clip of the battle with Xavier. But between Charmeleon and Excadrill, this fight is a pretty simple one. You even can level up to get a Charizard if you feel like it. Don't let the Shuckle set up webs. Make sure you have a plan for Tentacle and Mega Beedrill, and you're pretty much set. Use your other team members as defensive pivots and utility to help you get through the battle and basically just keep Excadrill and Charmeleon safe. Tentacruel is a good option here for a tank that can just come in and take a hit and also can be used early on to help deal with Shuckle and Heracross. Just make sure you don't poison Heracross because it has guts and that's not going to be good for you. Third gym time, I gotta, I gotta time stamp it. So I can come back to this moment. All right, East team of six. We got a team of six too. We're about to get bodied. Skarmory. All right, we're gonna straight switch out. I forgot what your lead was. Blazer's coming in. Blazer's coming in hot. Spikes, you expletive, little. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him till he's dead. Sturdy. Burn. Burn hacks. Burn hacks. Burn hacks. You little bitch. I probably just lost, honestly. The always swore chaos, but what? I don't know. Yeah, I, I just lost. Uh, Stealth Rocks plus um, spikes is not good. And you can just keep doing it. Which means I have to be careful about how to do this burn. I gotta be careful about how I play this. Hydro Pump. We're dead. Yeah. I don't have a Rapid Spinner. I really should have had one. Alright. It's where Rose comes into play. I'm glad we have a Rose. Hurts by Spikes and Stealth Rocks. That took 30 damage. Don't like that. Uh, we have Moonblast you in the face. That's bad. I thought Flame Bush doesn't burn. Maybe it doesn't. I'm, I don't remember. That's good. That's really good. No Hydro Pump kills now. I'm gonna wish. We take that. Great pattern. Honestly, it's... Knock me out. Knock me out here. Knock me out. Please. You crit hacks. He's Sniper. This is a Sniper Kingdra. Okay, I gotta remember that. Because I can get a free switch into uh, for to Princess right now. I'm gonna take Spikes damage and Stealth Rock damage, which is gonna do a lot of my health, but I should be able to heal. And if I can set up a Calm Mind in their face, I'm set to go. 
we take that. That crit mattered. Alright, we lost. That's it. <laughs> That's the game. That's the battle. Oh my gosh, man. Uh... It's the battle unless I pull it back. Yeah, that crit. That crit was it. He hits every crit, man. I might have a hyper. I might have a, uh, a revive. It's my only way out of this. I have a revive. Do I have a max revive? No. Alright, so I brought in, um... I brought in forehead for the reason that I can take a hit, regardless of what he hits me with here. Regardless of what he hits me here with, and then goes. Yeah, I did say he was sniper, and then I, you know, immediately got bodied. The point is, I ha if I set up Princess with snipe with the boost, I can take on the rest of his team. That's the only thing. And since he's minus one at accuracy, that's my best bet. But honestly, now I just need to get a way to get... I need a way to get back in. But this actually works out in my favor. Because he's missing now. Which is... I needed that... I was banking on that accuracy drop. But now he has toxic spikes up. He doesn't have a toxic... He doesn't have a... Pokemon that gets hit by Dr. Spike, does he? No, I'm just wasting time. Honestly, just trying to die right now. That's that's where I'm at. A Poison Jab is probably going to be more than anything else, so let's just hit him. Nice. I'm having the free switch now. No way, burn. I think he has Flamethrower. Which means I really need to get something off here. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I needed that. I needed to be boosted. How do I fight this now? Let's try to lie enough. Because obviously I can one-shot him with an Ice Beam, but I have to be in to one-shot him with an Ice Beam. So I'm going to show him Rock Slide, because he is faster than me. Like, very much faster than me. That was not enough. He missed focus. That's huge. That is huge. The AI is stupid. We, we're winning right now because AI is being stupid. That's why we're winning. Honestly, that Norvern just cleans me out. I was just trying to get to the point where I could bring in... Um, I was trying to get to the point where I could bring in Nico and just hit him. Alright. You're dragon flying. I think this is Mega too, but I'm gonna just Rock Slide. Yeah, I should've just Metal Clawed. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Rock Slide's probably gonna do more damage anyway, as long as I hit. Alright, we got we're fighting a Cloud. We're gonna hit Rock Slide. We're gonna hit Rock... Fire Blast. Yeah, that's the thing. You have Fire Boost. Alright, so I gotta bring in... Alright. I'm gonna have to play this the interesting strat. I'm gonna have to set up Calm Mind and hope I can live with Fire Blast. I don't think I can, but we might be able to. Um, yeah. So I messed up first turn, honestly. By just allowing the Skarmory to set up in my face. I'm just gonna stall Fire Blast. What's up, Dave? Alright, we're, we're living on more health now, so as long as he doesn't crit me, honestly, you should need to miss. That's all you need to do. There's the burn. Bro, we are not getting out of this vault. I have a full restore, don't I? I might need to use that full restore. I don't have a full restore. That's great. Uh, yep. I don't know. No, as long as we don't get crit, we're fine. Cause that was four hyper. That was four fire blast. So this should be it. That should be it. A fire blast. Yep. Oh, 
So now I can heal one more time. And I can set up the plus two. And then I need I need to boost evasion too and get rid of this burn. So I got a lot of setups here. Con guard, that's fine. Set up your defense. Alright, get rid of this burn. Now. He's a full heal. Unless I have a, uh, I don't have any, I have got no berries. Nice. I need to buy another full heal. Right. Princess is still kicking. Hyper voice, we're gonna eat that. A little less than I wanted to actually eat it for. Uh, we were at, what, 126? And we hit, got hit the 56. If I call mine again, I live it. There's plus two. Pixelate. Oh. I am playing a risky game right now, if I'm being honest. I'm playing the riskiest game ever. Hyper Voice. You're gonna just keep spamming Hyper Voice, which is fine. It does a lot of damage to me, but honestly. Alright. I needed to hit. Miss. I'm basically asking to be crit right now. That's what I'm doing. Uh, one more heal, and then we ice beam it in the face. It's plus two with an evasion boost. We have a champ. We have a shot. So what has gone wrong so far is definitely we should have left with Charizard to get rid of the Skarmory because I know that's the lead. But that's dead. Should have loved with, with Charizard to get rid of the Skarmory first turn, only have Stealth Rocks or Spikes up, not both. And this is where this is where we hit the fan right now. This is where we hit the fan, that's why I did an evasion boost. He swords dances in my face. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he had a he had a flare blitz me there. He had a flare blitz me to kill me. Alright, and then you have a Glyscore, we're fine. Earthquake, though. He's slower, though. We should one-shot him. He's faster, but the evasion... Bruh. The evasion. Yeah, this game is... This this battle is a lot of luck. There's the Skarmory back again. Let's do it. Nice. GG's. GG's. Alright, so. Issues with this battle. First and foremost, Charizard needs to be your lead to take out the freaking Skarmory. Um, two hits. Least burn all of his potions. That's that's the first thing. Um, a better fire move than uh, something that can burn is honestly preferred because you get rid of the sturdy as well. Um, so that's nice. Uh, what else failed is I kind of... I'll see you guys later. I'm going to play lottery. Yeah, 420. Bruh. Nice. What else failed uh, with that? Thank you for the cheer, by the way. I'm trying to process this. What else failed? What else failed? Um, what worked really... What was really stupid was setting up Toxic Spikes with Tentacruel. That's a dumb idea. Don't do that. Uh, just punch it in his face and get it over with. Tentacruel is a nice switch in for because it's tanky on a lot of the things. Because they're going to have fire moves, dragon moves, flying moves. Um... Generally, nothing to hit Tentacruel super effectively um, at all. Tentacruel also is a great option to deal with the Altaria with a Poison Jab. So that's the thing. Uh, what else? What else was it? Um, the rest of the team isn't really helpful. It's basically dealing with Princess and um, Florgus. Florgus really does well against that. Uh, does well against the uh, the the Kingdra. Uh, mostly because it's super tanky and it can probably live one as well as you have um, a tentacle to help back up. So that's really what the Florgus is going to be doing with this fight. Also, it's useful um, to deal with Noivern if you need it to. Um, it pretty much can take on anything besides the uh, the Talonflame and the Skarmory. So that's Talonflame is the big, big problem there. That's why you have, um, you have a rock move on your... Tentacruel, because it can punch it in its face. That's a dead talent flame every single time. So, um, so that, that's generally the set. If you switch between Princess, Florgus, Charizard, and Tentacruel, you got this. If you need to sack something, 
Nika's probably your best bet, although I would leave Nika alive because you have priority. Uh, and then you have Excadrill for other things too, so that's my take on what we did. But we got through it, so that's cool. Thank you again for the 420 bits, the bits, and the stream boss. Enjoy. That may be the thing, but we one-shot this as long as we uh, z -Aura Sphere, and he doesn't punch us. We're a little under-leveled, too. We might need to do some grinding. If we don't win this time, I'll, I'll go do I think I need to go do grinding, just for a little bit of levels. As long as we don't flinch, as long as we don't flinch, you're not going to flinch me. You're not going to flinch me. You're not going to flinch me with the King's Rock. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Nope, no way. No how. Thank you. All right, we're good. Good enough. Same start. That's the best thing we can do. All right, the Azzy was the pain in the mic took us. But we have a better strategy this time. The issue with my last time, yes, it was nice to get the, uh, the Toxic Spikes up, but I need to deal with this thing immediately. The only way to do that is Princess. Yeah. Because you don't take those very well. well. We might lose here. Which is understandable. Now. Forehead. Now it's switch to forehead. Now it's poison jab because we don't have sludge wave yet. And we outspeed that should knock you out. Thank you. Alright, good. Very nice. Easy plays. Good maneuvers. Try and launch sludge wave. Perfect timing. Thank you very much. Alright, um, Poison Jab's gone. Yeah, it would look good. It would be really good. Alright, we got Sylveon now. Alright, um... I forget what Sylveon knows. I think you know Mystical Fire, don't you? Hidden Power Fire. Sorry. Um, my best bet... I don't really have a good bet for this. I know we're faster with Forehead, but... Honestly, Forehead does not 1v1 really anything that well at all. So Charizard, you're up. This is your moment. Flip Kitten. I really need to just push through this battle. Alright, Charizard's up. Sylveon's in. We resist your fairy move, which you're probably not going to use anyway. And I'm just going to... I got a Flamethrower even face. I got a damage. I got a damage. It's a, not enough. Shadow Ball, we tank that a lot. Yeah, Special Defense Drop doesn't matter. I need to hit you again. That's perfect. So you're in range for a sludge wave, and if you don't go, you don't switch out, you don't heal, you're dead. So that's fine. That's fine. That's what we need to see. You don't switch out, you're dead. Dead Sylveon, sweet. Forehead puts in the work, I just need to chip things down, that's the thing. As much as Toxic Spice would be nice, Mill Tank. No. Nika, I need you to I need you to do something here. I need you to work. I need you to do your thing. This is where you get this is where you come into play, please. Please, just take please just one shot it, please. For the love of all that's good and holy, just one shot this stupid cow. Please. There's no way with Oh, it's faster. We take that! Yes. One shot. Oh, it's level like one HP, man. Don't heal. Just go he heal. Full restore. Go ahead, do it. Crit. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Give me the crittiest of crits right now, dude. Still one HP. Waste your other full restore. Do it. All right. Third time's a charm. It's not that big of an issue. I can't shadow sneak it. It's got rollout. That's ridiculous. Okay. Mill tank. Outspeeds me. I'm 90 speed. What is faster than uh, that? What is faster than my blast is? You are... That's sad that the stupid squid is faster than everything else on my team. I think that's my play. I'm a little nervous. Wait, he's locked in the rollout. That's useful. Because what's still left? That's the, that's the thinker. The Togekiss is still left, and that Gardevoir is still left. The real question is how I want to be on the Gardevoir at this point in time. I have... I still have... 
Maybe it's focus blast. I could be cheeky. I'm gonna be cheeky. I think this is how I do this. I have to set up on the mill tank using the, the rock move. I'm quad resisted, I think. I know I'm re it resisted, but I can toxic spice at least once. Let's see how much rollout does. Right, we need to we need to just take you out now. Just need to take you out now. Mill tank is tanky. That's really bad, because uh, I did not need that to happen. I can revive. It's fine. This stupid cow. I should have toxic earlier. I need I need forehead. Even at half, half health, full head's still good. Rock all. It's not gonna do a lot. We're gonna live that. Oh my god! You create me, dude. That was ridiculous. No All right. Off my field, you stupid cow. That's right. I'm back from the dead. Gardevoir, we switch out. This is Excadrill, 120%. You take... You don't hit Focus Blast. You don't hit Focus Blast. We're good. You hit Focus Blast, we're kinda screwed. But uh, at least you're poisoned, which is nice. Sand Rush. Actually, what best case scenario is you go for you go for a uh, full heal right now. Attack boost. Attack boost. Give me the attack boost. It's a two shot actually. Attack boost would be sick. One more hit. It's faster. I didn't think Gardevoir would be faster. What? What? 2 HP. 2 HP. You legend, Delilah. You absolute legend. That's crazy. Trying to learn Sandstorm. I calc that. I calc that. What are you talking about? I calc it. Nope. And we got a Toga Kiss. I love him. Jimmy, please. Please, no. That's 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 what we need. That's a lot of damage. Tech. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. That's really not fine at all. Uh, honestly, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. It's leftovers Toga Kiss. Ah, uh, what you, you're gonna be able to tank? It's, it's Tank Kiss too. He's set up. He's a setup mom. I am terrified. Not. To, oh, is, what do I? So I can Sludge Wave and try. Just do it, please. He's not gonna kill him. You are fair slash! Oh, you freaking moron. We, I think we have this, honestly. It's a roll. It's a roll. No low rolls, please. Anything but the absolute lowest roll. Clean. That's it. As I said, roughest gym fight in this game. <laughs> that one right there. There's literally no good way to deal with it. She has coverage for literally everything. So what went well the second time? Um, yeah, if you don't get if you get flinched in that Chinchino, you are screwed. Um, I was a bit under leveled, so that is another factor into that. So not a big deal there, but level 50 is probably where you want to go in for that fight at. Um, Dazzling Gleam is really nice. You got a lot of pivot options there. Um, Especially uh, Charizard for resistance of fairy moves. So if you ever need to switch Nico out, Charizard's a good switch in. As well as you have uh, your own fairy type to deal with some stuff. It's also good for if you get para-haxed. There's a thing. So you got a lot of options there with that. Basically what it can do is just set, set up in your face. Make you set up in your face. And then punish you with foul play. Alright, Swagger is fine. The best move you could use besides foul play. Uh, honestly, please, Delilah, come on. All right, that's a, that's a dub we need right there. That's the dub we need. All right, Delilah takes that Clefki. 
Doesn't matter, we're switching out. Here's the Metagross. All right, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. This should be a Charizard switch, but I gotta make sure you don't have any kind of flying news. It doesn't make sense for me not just to, to switch to it. Switch to Charizard right now, does it? No. I'm gonna switch straight out. You don't have a rock type move. This is Charizard. This is why Charizard's here. Let's go, Blazer. Prove your worth. Mega Matter Gross. I, I just don't. It's her only way to deal with Excadrill besides the Rotom. I just don't get why she's not switching to Rotom, though. Instead of X Metagross. No flinch hacks. What is he using? Iron Pad? Is that how about We have counters. We have counters for everything on your team, buddy. You can't beat me like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Delta Blast Toys, let's go. You have to be a big... Yes! That's a one-shot. I thought that was a one-shot, I just wasn't sure. Alright, Nika did the, did the big things. Here comes the Electivire. Yes. Um. I need Rose. I need Rotom, actually. So, what do I switch in here? Um. Yeah, Forehead's what I need to switch in. Or it's a switch in right now. If we should outspeed the Electivire, I just need to poke it. I just need to poke it. You just need to not... Wild Charge is not great. But you hit yourself pretty well. Right? Alright, okay. I should have just stayed in. I can Shadow Sneak, Priority Kill. There's the air balloon gone. Wild charge, we're dead. You gotta sack some things in order to win sometimes, friend. Alright, the is back out. We EQ, see if you wanna switch out. She doesn't. Cross chop, we take that. You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. They'd be freaking kidding me. I can't, like... <laughs> I can't even right now, man. Alright. Alright, we healed after this with the wish. Mm -mm. Okay, then the Electivire would be the issue. There's the full restore. And we get a nice cheeky little wish off. Perfect. Too bad wish can't bring something back to life. How about a moon blast? Take him out. No crit, that's what we needed. Stupid. I'm convinced we we live a cross chop there. Alright. Here's the Magna Zone. What's the hardest fan game? I 
That's hardest is uh, is personal preference. I personally think this is the hardest. Well, I personally think Reborn's harder than this. So, close with the air balloon. Why did I switch to you? I don't know what I'm gonna have to make do. I messed up there too. Jeez. We don't live that. Even at plus one, we don't live that. That was a crit. Be nice to me, game. Give me the hacks this time. Nope. Alright, air balloon is popped. I'm gone. Alright, that worked out. So I can't bring in Charizard because he gets one shot. Like, oh, man. Okay. All right, all right, we're, we recover, we recover. Flamethrower, I need you to finish him. Thank you. Magnazone also, Magnazone also has sturdy, so it's kind of annoying. All right, Charizard's still alive. Here's the Rotom Wash. What's the last Mon, though? I need Charizard alive. Yeah, we gotta switch. The last one's an Age of Slash. But we're going to have to do a lot of heal spam right now. Because I'm out of options, man. Uh, we have to heal Rose first. You're going to hit me with what? Little Wisp? Fine. Fine. Alright. Wish. Hydro Pump misses. Wish for the damage next turn. Also to mitigate the burn, and we now we can heal Charizard freely. Alright, Charizard's whipped ready to go. Let's do it. We take that. Fairly well, actually. Alright, the burn damage is annoying. Let's get rid of it. Oh, he's gonna willow us me again. It's fair. I got a wish off for free, which we take. Honestly, if I couldn't make him run out of uh, hydro pumps, I can bring in Charizard. He'll have to volt switch. Charizard can take one as long as I have. Well, that's actually really good. Never mind. Now we can just sit here on this stupid thing. He does have leftovers himself. Alright, Moonblast one more time. Hidden Power. We take that. Make sure it's Hidden Power Ice. That was a crit. It's not really what I was looking for, but okay. Crit definitely mattered. King Shield's fine. If I was smart, I would have predicted that. I didn't, though. Right. There's the wish. Take me out. You won't iron head me in the face. Flash cannon works, too. Nice. Good crit back. Good crit back. Alright, I got my Charizard set up now. He's probably going to King Shield. Alright, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to be cheeky. I forgot I even had a... Uh, be in the items pocket. Alright, I had X items. Alright, fair enough. Uh, we're going to smoke screen. Yep, there's King Shield, perfect. Good call out, the wish was useless. We had it just in case, flamethrower. Now I know you're in shield form, but that's enough. And air balloon pops. Honestly, we win this if you miss. 
movement strategies. All right, I gotta, now it's just, now I just spam flamethrower. Honestly, that's what I do. All right, that's a GG. Cause he has to shadow sneak me and he can't one shot me. God. All the, all the stupid hacks that happened in that battle. Jeesh. Charizard was a linchpin here, 100%. 100%. Alright, crit hacks was annoying. Lactivire crit was annoying. The confusion was annoying. Everything was annoying. Uh, Miko is 100% the way to deal with Metagross. Um, so can we can just one shot with DP. Honestly, we that gym we had like the worst line of stuff happen for a lot of that, and I reset over it many times just to try to get a good roll. Um, that was a pretty, that was a pretty, one of the worst case scenarios in that battle. We still pulled it off. So, team works here. Team works here 100%. Charizard, MVP. Uh, Nico, nice holding down that Mega. And then Excadrill doing a lot of work in the early game. So, I think that works better. If you have Rock, uh, Rock Slide, not Rock Slide, um, if you have Stealth Rocks, this works so well. But, sheesh. Then to give a TM2, which contains T-Bolts, which is sad because I just learned T-Bolt with my Gardevoir. So, I don't really need it. I have to work on a side project, be my workshop in the gym if you need me. Just don't come in for a while, I'm working on something private. She just disappears, man. That was a rough fight. So many things that didn't go our way, and just to pull it back. I love that be a lesson to anyone out there. Uh, it's not over till it's over. You know, there's always a chance somebody messes up. I've had it many times happen to me before. But we place to a wig shop. This is a rough gym fight. Save a life. All right, cool. Prankster doesn't matter. Stealth rocks. Use trick. Use foul play. So now he's locked into that. Because he's choice scarfed. Oh, let's let's try from the flinch axes. Okay, we tried. That's fine. Delilah did you you did your job. Yeah, this isn't gonna be too hard. Uh, what am I even thinking, Rose? Like I'm like I don't know how to play this right now. So he's locked in the foul play. Luckily, I have no attack stat, so get moon blast in your face. Foul play is gonna hit. We're gonna. I did a lot still. All right, down Sableye, that's one. Next strategy. Also, it's the best team, we got this. Uh, the Jaranjagar, that's not fun. This is where uh, having the, uh, having the Lila would be nice. Um, how do I fight the Gengar, though? Uh, Focus Blast, Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, and Icy Wind. Is life orbs too. Honestly, I don't see a reason why not to bring in forehead right now and just body him. Yeah, if I can get, I need to keep forehead alive though. Uh, focus blast. I'm worried about for everything else, and then he has icy wind. Charizard could be good. But I don't know what else Charizard's gonna be useful for. So I think we live. Yeah, this is. I really should have kept the extra drill alive. I got too zealous. Um. Let's go Charizard. I got too zealous with that. This is a straight switch into a... A boy there. What's up, Crazy Toe? Let's kiss. Blah, that did a lot. Rifle or Bright. It's fine. Crip didn't matter, I don't think. Blaze, he's pretty weak. Uh, Gardevoir's coming in. This is a switch out to forehead. I'm doing well. Alright. You should Psy Shock me if you're smart. You have clear body to no stat drop, which is fine. I get a free switch to Nika. As long as you don't use uh, your Moon Blast. Perfect. Alright. Good plays, good plays, good plays. You're probably going to hard switch out because you literally can't touch me, but 
Um, doesn't mean I can't hit a DP. You're not gonna switch out? What's up, Vegeta Blue? How you doing, friend? I'm not gonna die, it's easy. She can't touch me, she choice scarfed into Psyshock. I thought about setting up in her face, but I thought that'd be too cheeky. Now I'm realiz realizing I should do it. Full restore? Give me a sec for that, bud. That's fine. Full restore all you want. There's a switch. Good switch. Chandelure was the best way to beat um, Nika off the bat. And now we body it, so that's cool. Alright, so this should be back to Gardevoir to use a psychic move. Um, yes. Wow, we know what it's speed stats. That's what it comes down to. Speed stat 1, 113, Mega. Uh, Gardevoir, I think, is faster at a higher level. That's the kicker here. Gardevoir, what's your speed stats? Uh, 80. Eighty base speed. Um, that's gonna be a close call. Uh, base speed seventy. So he's he's gonna. There's no way I'm faster. Cool. There's no way in the world I'm faster right now. Uh, which means I need to switch out. Back to forehead. Cool. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't got the Melmetal yet. What's up, guys? Alright, Garbage coming back in. Gonna hit by Stall Frogs. Trace my clear body. Uh, we switch out again. No predictions. This would be perfect. Even if he does predict, we have a way to deal with it. So, not, too, not the end of the world. Perfect. That's what I expected to see. Uh, I'm gonna be cheeky again. Nasty plot. If you're gonna keep letting me nasty plot in your face, I'm gonna do it. That's why you have nasty plot on this thing, by the way. Uh, part of the reason. There's a switch. That means Priscilla goes down in one shot now. We're just gonna keep doing this. This is this is how you cycle through this battle. Which is part of the reason why we chose a poison type too. The Guard of War, especially. She's not gonna switch back out, so. And with the amount of switches she has to do, it's she's taking residual damage. Even if you don't set up Even if you don't set up nasty plot, you should be able to one-shot something on the switch. Gotta love playing against the AI, man. Alright, now we just set up. Yep, yeah, it's switch. It's lead with it's lead tentacle, switch to switch to Blastoise, uh, set up nasty plot, then DP. There's the last switch out. That's a Gothitel. You're not even gonna get to Mega Evolve your Gothitel because it's dead. Did you get, Digimon's getting a new card game? No, I'm not a big Digimon fan, so I definitely did not. Here we go again. Last time we have to do this. Switch in the forehead. This is by far the easiest gym battle with the team. You can also be extra cheeky if you want to throw guard if you want to throw forehead in at the beginning and set up a uh, stealth rock and set up a uh, toxic spikes. You can do damage that way too. You can get residual damage for days. Yeah, the thing about this Gardevoir is it's choice scar. It's choice it's choice spec and so if it's shy shocking me, it can't hit Nico. But if it's locked in the moon blast, I can switch into something else to take it. So just that choice, uh, if you had expert belt it would have been so much better, but hey. Easy gym fight there. Six gym badge, let's go. I'm OG teacher my fan by OG I mean seasons one to three. Seems as if I've been tough, but I guess it happened had to happen eventually. 
Congratulations, here's your prize. The Dream Land Badge. Just let you hire Pokemon to bay you. Also, attract rare wild Pokemon in certain areas, such as the Friend Safari. Take this too. Gift from me. It's TM29 uh, for Psychic. Which I don't think I have on a team member. That's TM contains move Psychic. Psychic's perhaps most well-known Psychic type move. Because it's literally the namesake. Um, nobody learned Psychic, that is true. Cool. Uh, team is definitely invaluable for any asset of training. Next, I'll assume you want to go to Amphrite City next. My boyfriend, Cal Reith, runs the gym there. His team specializes around the range, so you might want to prepare for that. And don't forget you can exit by just going by, just by going straight down. Alright, so quick recap on uh, what the what strategy worked here. Stealth Rocks is nice for a little bit of residual damage. Honestly, you don't really need it that much, but it is really helpful if you don't set up Nasty Plot um, with the Blastoise. Um... Honestly, it's if you're not gonna set up uh, stealth rocks, then save your uh, save your extra drill for the fight with for the fight with the Gengar because it's not gonna do much, and you also have to deal with Focus Blast. So if that's an issue, like Focus Blast is a hit or miss move, and honestly, you can deal with Gengar with uh, with uh, Forehead if you need to with your Tentacle. Um, but other than that, you want to keep Tentacle around so that way when they switch in the Gardevoir, you can just keep switching in and out. And then um, you kill something with Dark Pulse on the switch all the time. Or you can set up in its face and then deal with the consequences. But other than that, it's pretty simple. And who says the Suicide Shell Frogly? He's just setting in Drizzle, Drizzle Mega Politoed. So we're, we, we, we got this. It's honestly his ace right now, by the way. I didn't just use Stealth Rock. Here's Politoedite. This thing is, is pretty fun, honestly. It's a pretty cool Mega Evolution. Look at him! Look at him! They changed that, I think. Alright, point stones, we're good. <laughs> we got the stones up, we got rocks up, man. We, we're not taking that. Cool. He's on cloud nine, yeah. Alright, uh... Second strat, let's go. Not only are we suicide stealth rocking, but we're also using toxic spikes because I can set these up. Jump forehead. Um, I can lift gold. No, I can't. It'd be funny if I did. Alright, let me see what you got again, because Skull Toxic, and it's called Ice Beam, Hidden Power Electric. Alright, we're fine. Um, the big issue now- oh no, we have a way to deal with the Heliolisk. I, I kept that in mind. Uh, yeah, we, we got Stalin for everything now. That's- uh, alright, cool. Wrong, wrong button. Cool. Alright, so, Princess, you're up. And I can't, I, I wanna, I, I wanna set up, um, T-Bolt, but I can't. I wanna just set up Calm Mind, but I can't do that. Alright, um, yeah, the only reason I said I got Stealth Rocks is because the Dragonite has multi-scale, and so if I can chip that away, I can one-shot it with Ice Beam, instead of him having weakness policy. So. I just realized you were reading NPC's team, not Drop it yet. Yeah. Out of the draft league team. I mean, Charizard is not going to do anything this battle. You just kind of sack him on if I need it. Yeah. There's a reason we have Toxic Spice and Stealth Rocks on this team. This is why. No flinch hacks, come on. Oh, I said no flinch hacks, man! I said no! I said none! I said no, none! Zero! Zero! Man, I can't even get a free switch out. I think. Live that on two. Alright, heal. I need this thing though. This Kabuto is a pain in the butt. And I have hyper potions. 200, is that enough? No, that's not enough. I have to full, I have to use a, a max potion. All 
I have to use my max potion. Alright, we'll see what he does. Should he spam waterfall? And he gets a high roll. That sucks. Although he's taking residual damage for days, so that's fine. Alright, as I said, I have a reason for a sack. I have a sack, Mon. We're using him. Um, I need my <laughs> I need my Forkus. There's a full restore. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Actually, it's not. It's not. I'm slower. I'm starting to be faster. That's bad. Now that's bad. Now it's bad. Now it's bad. Now it's bad. Now it's really bad. I don't need him to breathe. Okay, 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 okay. He's gonna out he's got swim swim. Yeah, Rose is my elite strat. Alright, cool. Did I per perchance be be cheeky and get X items? I didn't. I know I didn't. Why am I looking? Because I can a guy can enjoy it. A guy can hope that he has X items. I don't. I don't have anything. I'm just gonna have to hit him with a energy ball and hope he doesn't one shot me. That's that's the game. I can't beat this. There's no way. Is it? It is. Is it Swiftson? Yes. Because I would have. Oh, whack! That's that's a that we might bring this back now. Parahax. All right, we just one shot it. Okay, we have a chance. We have a chance now. Honestly, not ideal that we we lost our, our Florgus there. Here's the Heliolisk. Alright, this is where Nika comes in. And you don't switch out until you die. It does have dry skin, so that's annoying. Uh, or a spear. Stone Edge missed. Yeah, I kind of I kind of thought about that. I was gonna reset, but I'm like, we have a chance. All right, Delta Blast toys. Let's go. Take one of whatever he's doing. We're not taking that. There's no way. We tanky city boys. We tanky city. We tank city boys. Janika. Oof. Let's send in Dragonite. Do you have a setup move? That's a question. He's got Thundercane and Thunder, dude. He's got coverage for me. I don't think we outspeed a, a Dragonite, honestly. I don't think we outspeed it. Yeah, I gotta switch you out, Mika. You're sack now, so that's nice. All right, princess, this is where you this is where you come to play, buddy. It's where you come to play. What do we got? Dragonite, no multi scale now. Thank you. And we we got an ice beam. I hope we're faster. Oh, we're faster. Out of here. Out of here. You're gonna be sacked if I need to. That's sending Gudra. <laughs> oh man. Poisoned. He has hydration though, so that toxic's not gonna really matter too much. Uh, ice beam. I should have. I should have called minded. Maybe I shouldn't have. Rest. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we needed to see. Yeah, we got this. We clutched it. Yeah, I saw the hydration coming. Call mine. Hit me now. That was a big miss. That was a big miss. Alright, dead. Nice. Nice. Alright, princess. 
MVP right now. Alright. Last Mon. Here we go. Manaphy. He's gonna do the tail glow thing. <laughs> He's gonna do the tail glow thing. But we honestly just... If we hit him first turn with Thunderbolt, he's gone. There's Tail Glow. Yoinker! Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. He's dead. He's dead. 100%. Yes. Ooh. GG! G friggin' G, man. Man, I think we're gonna lose that. Alright, what's the strategy work? Uh, hyper offense with Gardevoir. Uh, it was kind of sad that that, uh... The Stone Edge was the was the big kicker there. If we run a little bit more defense on the um, if we ran a little bit more defense on the floor, I guess that would have been nice. Or a Focus Sash would have been perfect, honestly. So you might run Focus Sash if we're doing this again. Um, but yeah, other than that, we are, that was a pretty easy battle. Setting up hazards, we get rid of the uh, the Dragonite pretty simply, and that's the battle. Also, his his hair color and stuff changes based on which one you chose at the beginning. Just so you know. Let's go to Jaranja. Jaranja. All right, we got a Stealth Rock because I'm a cheeky little butt. Spikes are your ground type. That's fine. I don't have a way to get rid of those though. I don't think about that. I have a way to get rid of Toxic Spikes, but not those. Oh boy, just gonna keep Spike stacking me. This is a focus sash. Nice. That crit didn't matter though. Four. Dude, waste all your four stores. I don't care. Um, yeah, we'll use another one. Toxic spikes. We can get rid of those though. How many layers? Two layers of spikes? That's fine, we can go through that. You forget any days Wednesday. 582, about to send an entire What do I bring in? It's scarfed. stay in. I stay in. Because what I can do... I'm kidding. Tyranitar switches in. He goes for super power. I switch to... Forehead is going to tank it like a boss. You're going to switch out probably into Drapion. Um, which means he didn't choose a move, so now he's going to choose what's best against this, which is not great. I have to take a gamble here. I'm just gonna surf. I can T spikes, but it's not gonna do anything. Crunch. I thought that was what you're gonna pick. I don't want to believe that's what you're gonna pick. We don't. Okay, what do you need? Do. Because I might be taking tox. I need to keep you alive for this damage in the back. Um. Alright, this is this is setup time. Alright, cool. Yep. It's gonna tickle. Nice. Cool. Perfect. This is where Nika sets up and goes ham. Y'all been waiting for it. What's gonna kill me? The dark uh the spear team's not fun, but we can deal with it. Um, plus two on everything. Everything but the Drapion. I need to be plus four. Okay, crunch. Really glad I decided to choice scarf. Um, bag. Potion. Back to full. And then minus one, well, minus two crunches. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking, because it's gonna happen if I say it. Alright. I can Shadow Sneak, I won't kill though. Let's just Aura Spear. 
crunch. That's effective. Cool. So what I was thinking is like, I'm, we're lucky we haven't got the defense drop. Crunch. Can you behave, please? Thank you. Um, that's nice. Drapion. Uh, it's a choice scarf. He hits what? What does he hit me with? Earthquake. That's his best move. We should take that. We should take that. It's not the end of the world if we go down too, so. What are you hitting me with? Show me. Poison jab. Okay, trying to poison. Stab. We take it though. Yeah. That's GG's. Chill. Uh, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Fire Blast, Roost. You can't kill me. Alright, Mega High Dragon. Oh, Marty. Oh, that's gonna tickle. We ain't taking that. We ain't taking that. That was it. That's why we're not taking that, by the way. Alright, alright. Fair. All right, I applaud you, sir. You thought you thought things through. I will give you that. That's busted. Five chances to flinch, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't. That's all we needed. Alright, her dragon's gone. That's easy. It's GG's. Tyrena charge dead. Um Greninja comes back in. Um, we've dealt with everything but the Spirit Tomb and the Bisharp. This is where we go back to the Lila. Um, there's nothing... yeah. So we're, we're clean. We're home free. We got off free. So that's dead. Nice. Um... Um, spirit Tomb's coming in. Alright, switch out again to this is back to Rose. I'm gonna take damage, but it's fine. Yeah. What's up, Hyper U? Okay. Stealth Rocks chips you, Nocturne. That's gonna tickle. Uh, Sucker Punch plus Knock Off plus Will O Wisp. Uh, we should wish. He's probably going to hit Sucker Punch. I would take a stab at it and say that. Oh, uh, it's Aromatherapy. So, no burn. That's nice. Knockoff's going to tickle. We take it, though. Glad I wish. There goes my leftovers, which is fine. Now we're back up to 140. I can just do it again. He's not Sucker Punching me, which is interesting. All right, so we're going to keep doing the same display over and over again. I'm a wish. I'm going to recover from the burn. And he's going to knock off the second turn. Shadow Sneak. All right, changing it up. I see you. That's going to tickle, but we're, got, we're fine. All right. I like that health better. All right, let's move the last. Sucker Punch. Dead. Actually, no, we're in the darkness. You miss that time, here comes a Sucker Punch. Because you have to. Unless you're going to... Okay. Still a Poison type, which is ridiculous. Which means to just Toxic Spikes in my face. But, I can just... What's Energy Ball? Yeah, that's fine. Toxic Spikes all you want in my face, I'm not switching out. I need that Defense Drop. Or crits work. Spikes is fine. We're ground type now, which means you're dead to energy ball. Okay. In comes the uh, the spirit tomb. As darkness fades, yeah. That's a good play. I'll give you. I'm give you props, Adam, for playing in the, playing in your in your uh, element. 
Stealth Rocks actually doesn't finish? That's ridiculous. I was hoping that was kind of going to be the strat, but we're dead. We're done. We're done. That's it. That's a GG. That was an, that's probably one of the easiest gym battles, and honestly, if you don't choose Delta Blastoise, you're kind of screwed. That's basically what it's there for. Stealth Rocks aren't needed. I thought it was a nice way to counter Greninja off the bat. Of course, you could just start off with Delta Blastoise and just spam through with Setup and Spam, which works. Um, the big kicker is that Choice Scarf Tyranitar. You have to get that off the field before you can use Blastoise or, and or have it locked into Crunch. Um, otherwise, you're kind of screwed right from the get-go. Um, the Hydreigon is really annoying because it hits five times. That's the ability of Delta Hydreigon, of Mega Hydreigon. Um, this has five heads. It hits five times, which means Dark Pulse hits five times too, which means you have five chances of being flinched, um, which means you got to get lucky like I did and use that's a rose that's why rose is here Supper so has forehead sir we salute you for your duty that you are about to pre perform we salute you perfect I'm learning the damage calcs that's the sad thing I'm learning at how exactly how much damage is done by each move that's the crazy part I'm doing this over and over again all right, you're dead. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your service. All right, so this is where it's gonna be fun and different because I just have to call mine a couple times. Toxic, call mine toxic, call mine. Just the shred. You have to do it in that order. Toxic is nice, but you also gotta make sure you can get it so you can one shot the Auroras to turn after. And since toxic moves last, we're always gonna be doing a little bit of damage at the end of the turn. Perfect. Plus two. We're not getting the drops though, that's the kicker. Three Calm Minds, or should it be four? Um, two Calm Minds does about 75%. Um, and then you're getting Toxic damage now. It's the second turn of Toxic, so the counterbalance the first turn is crazy. I mean, but you have to heal right now. If you don't heal, you lose. The fact is, we can't lose a second Mon to this, and Rose has to be pretty good health for that Executor. And so a third Calm Mind would be very nice. Alright, so I can one-shot it right now. Um, so basically, choice specs is, is he has choice specs, so he's gonna double he's gonna double his uh, attack his special attack side. So Leaf Storm is doing a crap ton of damage. Um, and I feel safer at plus four. There's the four restore, sweet. And I feel safer at plus four than at plus three. So I'm gonna hit four. Also, you can just actually set up the plus six and not care. I might just do that, honestly. The thing is, we gotta—we might have to test it because uh, Garchomp might come in instead. So that could be an issue. One shot. Uh, not quite. Alright. Um, toxic's not enough, so he's just going to move the last part, too. And Jar Garchan comes and switch to Charizard? Maybe. Alright, so that was just Lolo. Um, I honestly just want to get this bell room, the bell room in really fast. Um, so I can use Charizard to set burns on everything. But, uh... Also, the burns aren't mat aren't useful at this point because of the toxic spikes. So, side shock's gonna tickle. By tickle, mean almost kill. 
but we're living. The Rose is a tank. All right, this should be the Kang. Greninja's coming here. Okay. And this is in Dark Pulse City. That's part of. The, this is also part of the reason why you set up Rose, because Rose can just shut down three of the shut down the special side. So Rose shuts down Aurora, shuts down Executor, shuts down Greninja. Uh, plus four. And honestly, my one type hits all move is a uh, grass. Rose is also very nice because it has a grass type move for this situation. So even if Greninja become the only thing that Greninja is going to resist it is is if it changes to a water type, which honestly is fine because I'm at plus four and it's probably one shots anyway. But his best move is Ice Beam for me. That's dead. Sweet. All right, so we're taking on half the team. Here we go. That plus four is coming in massive clutch. Here's the Kang that's coming. I'm a little bit worried about this, but I need a free switch into Giga. So I stay in. Not needing this thing anymore. It just dies. And a uh, Wii Energy Ball, I think. We stab. We hit the stab. I think he's gonna. I think we're just gonna get one shot here. The issue. Oh, I, I I see a big issue right now that I didn't look at. All right, he's just gonna spam return. That's fine. That's what I want you to do. I want you to spam return. I don't want you to go for power up punch because that's gonna suck. All right. Um. So. Yeah, Princess is not doing anything in this fight, really. So, basically, we're just turn stalling, you know? Sweet. King is going hurt by poison. It should be about the 75% next turn. Which means Nika at plus two with a Shadow Sneak should be able to one-shot. Um... So that part of Shadow Sneak is not special, because then I could just be done. Alright, we have to live one. The riskiest play in the entire. The riskiest play in the entire set right now. Here we go. Perfect. You gotta do this. Bud. You gotta do this right now, Nika. You gotta do this right now. You gotta do this for me. You gotta do this for me. I did nothing. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Alright, so one of two things happens right now. Um, he, he, he full restore. I think he's out of full restores, honestly. So I'm just gonna stealth rock? He withdraws. Grelum comes in. He's poisoned. He doesn't have poison. He's got life orb technician. There's stealth rocks, which takes out the Kangaskhan on the switchback. Um, so that's perfect. Uh, grass resist rock, uh, ground. We one shot the Breloom. He didn't mock punch because it's resisted. And we're GG's. Charizard one shots guard chomp. Just in case he doesn't, I am going to switch into him now. <laughs> uh, Zach King can't come back in without dying. So that is it. And that Stealth Rock, I think that Stealth Rock actually secures it. Yeah, that Stealth, I think, honestly, I don't think, ooh, ooh, I didn't like that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we are leading, boys. Alright, in case he had a full restore, we were fine still, so. He can't actually do it, because he's locked in outrage. Ha ha, direct. Alright, Charizard, buddy. Buddy, old pal, old friend. 
Ha <laughs> I love stealth rocks, man. I love doing that with stealth rocks, just chipping them out. That is Nyx dead. Bruh, yeah, it's almost impossible. That, that fight's rough. We got Gardevoir here with choice specs, um, mostly because it's only really utility and use is to uh, just smack with Ice Beam. So I'm not even going to worry about setting up or anything. We're just going to Ice Beam until we die, I think, at that point, um, which is how it is. It's the general strategy here. Sea Incense on forehead is useful since this is a, a ground, especially the Sand Team, so it's got ground and rock types. Um, Surf's going to be really powerful. Uh, but doesn't lock me in to just surf, so if I wanted to use Toxic Spikes, it can. Um, also, if we if you happen to switch out to his uh, Ace, we have Sludge Wave, we can just hit it with that, too. So that's there. Uh, we got Rose um, with Leftovers. Honestly, this is going to be sitting here taking things. I can Toxic most of the team, and Moonblast is nice for the recovery at the end of the game. Um, Delta Blastoise, I pretty straightforward. And then Charcoal on Charizard, because the only moves you're going to really be using is Flamethrower. Alright, so this is going to be the play for Kayla. So we got Excadrill with Chesto Berry. It's designated lead because it has um, Stealth Rocks. So I'm going to use Stealth Rocks to set up the rocks because she likes to switch. With the Tom Pass, so we can get residual damage every turn. Shut down Focus Sashes on the Blaziken um, and do some damage at other places. Leftovers on Forehead simply because it's going to be a tanky mon, be able to tank some hits and we want to heal. Same with uh, Rose, does the exact same thing. Blastoise out on Blastoise. Expert Ball on Charizard, we need to switch between Flamethrower and Air Slash uh, for Blaziken and Scizor, so that's going to be the switches there. And then Choice Specs is still on Gardevoir because we don't, we need like, we just need the damage output for Thunder, Thunderbolt. And potential uh, Parahax would be nice, so let's save. Um, Shadow Ball is nice on Gardevoir 2, but uh, what we can easily do is just switch out, so that's cool. Alright, so this is the battle for Yuki. Uh, the lead is going to be as Nika, the Delta Blast toys. Uh, the primary thing is to one-shot that Mammoth Swine, get it off the field ASAP Rocky. Uh, we should bait in the Delta Trevenant, which is a fairy type on the backside, to use Play Rough, which allows me to, um, to switch in to Excadrill and get Stealth Rocks off, which is going to be nice to deal with everything in the back, uh, which allows me, again, to... I think we live a Petal Blizzard. Maybe I do Focus Sash. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe Focus Sash... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. would be a better play, but it's still does resist grass. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it as it is. We're going to Choice Scarf, bring in the Rocks, switch immediately out to Charizard, deal with that Delta Trevenant, and then the rest of the team is ready to set up and just go. Um, so that's the plan. Basically, uh, leftovers to heal, leftovers to heal, both defensive uh, switch ins. Choice Scarf, as I said, Stealth Rock, uh, Expert Belt Charizard to just do some damage, and then Choice Scarf on Princess in order to outspeed the Storm in the back. So we, we got some speed, We're bringing some speed this week. Uh, let's get into our week five matchup versus Yuki and the Hail users. I'm just kidding, this is not PDL. Though. Yeah, the Choice Scarf is annoying. So this is the strategy for London. Rose is going to be the lead. Uh, he leads Reuniclus, which uh, is Mega Reuniclus, which basically sets up Trick Room right off the bat. Um, nothing we can do about it. So Leftovers, um, Florgus is going to be the play. We're going to call Mind in Reuniclus's face because it, it can hit us with Psy Shock on the physical side, but it's not going to do much. Uh, we got Toxic to slow it down a little bit too. And honestly, we're just going to stall out five turns of Trick Room. Simple enough. And we'll go ham from there. Um, the rest of the team looking pretty good too. Uh, leftovers again for a tanky or a mon, but also can deal damage if I need it to. Uh, Blastoise Delta. Blastoise with the Delta Meg Megastone. Choice Scarf on Delilah once we get out of Trick Room. Easy kills with the Iron Head. Um, Charizard's Expert Belt. There's two differences. It's going to need to use Air Slash and Flamethrower. And then Choice Scarf on Guard of War Ice Beam. And or Shadow Ball if I need it. So that's the team. You want to do the strategy like I did uh, the better way to set it up is actually to set up toxic spikes um, I got rid of surf oh well didn't mean to get rid of surf the the well I wasn't no, no I had surf no, I, didn't. I don't know whatever uh, but the way to do it uh, instead of you keep you do toxic spikes instead of uh, doing permafrost that's the better condition, that's why it's there. 
So Toxic Spike sets up. I don't believe the Volcarona, because it has Levitate, will switch in and cover it. So you can use that to shut down everything on the backside, get a little bit more damage off here and there. Uh, also set off Toxic right off the bat on Flygon, so it goes down. Um, Stealth Rocks are really nice, gets a little bit of chip damage on everything. Not really necessary, but very nice. Um, and then, of course, Blastoise is your primary switch in to deal with Tyranitar, deal with Curem as long as it's healthy. You switch out the Florgus, deal with the Flygon, um, which should prompt Haxorus to switch in. You let uh, Florgus go down, switch in to, uh, to uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir just one shots the Haxorus, does some damage to Mewtwo, which basically puts Mewtwo in range to be one shot by the Delta, by Blastoise coming back in after it's been healed. Because you heal during the Flygon with the Florgus, and um, at the end it's just out overpowering the Delta Volcarona, which you can do with Charizard and Blastoise, who are both left. So very easy fight once you figured out how to plot your course. But that's how you do it. And there's the best team for Pokemon Insurgents. Thanks for watching all the way through and enjoying the strategies that I have offered in this video. This video and others like it take a lot of time and research analyzing available bonds, analyzing the walkthroughs of the game, and also doing the actual playthrough of the team myself. So I would appreciate if you guys would leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and best team videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Chaos signing off. Stay safe, and as always, 